good evening students this is dr shubhi and in this lecture we will be discussing hypothesis testing and two types of tests which are commonly categorized as parametric test and non parametric test so the prerequisites uh, requisites are uh, we should know what is hypothesis what is the basic difference between null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and little knowledge of type 1 error and type 2 error and how they are related to null hypothesis now let's see some assumptions when it comes to parametric test the first thing is that we need to have random independent samples that is the first requirement the data what we collect through the primary data collection process should be interval it should be on interval and ratio scales the data has to be normally distributed there should not be any outlier or an extreme or exceptional case because it will disturb our normal distribution there has to be homogeneity of variances between different samples the sample size should be large at least the size greater than 30 so these are the assumptions which we have to see and then we have to think of conducting a parametric test now to find some answers let's start with the scale of measurement and then understand which particular data can go for uh, non parametric test and which type of data can go for parametric test if your data is nominal for example gender or marital status which is defining the attributes we can go for a non parametric test because here we are not finding the mean we cannot find out the mean marital status or mean gender we can only talk about the modal values so this is non parametric test next is ordinal where we talk about rank or order the observations as scores or categories from low to high in terms of uh, more or less so for example education level attitude opinion scales these are all non parametric goes for non parametric testing next comes the interval scale of measurement where the interval is between observation in terms of fixed units of measurements like measures of temperature varying from 0 to 5 uh, degree celsius or uh, 6 to 10 11 to 15 so we are talking in terms of intervals so here uh, we will call it a parametric we will uh, take this data for parametric test next is ratio the scale has a fundamental zero point for example age age can be zero income can be zero so these are the variables which will start from zero so such questions where uh, we have scale of measurement of type ratio In that case also we can go for a parametric test now let's find out quickly that whether we should go for a parametric or non parametric test with the help of this flow chart now we know what type of data it is data can be categorical categorical like uh, categories male female So it's a category, uh, east, west, north, south. That way, if we are talking, we are talking of data which is categorized. So we will go for non-parametric test. If the data is of any kind of metric, in that case, we have to ask: Are the data approximately normally distributed? Now you all remember, normally distributed is a bell-shaped curve where the mean is in the center and the there is only one peak and on the both the sides of the peak 
the values are symmetrical so the mean is always zero so that is normal distribution we have discussed that in a, in our previous clipping so the question is are the data approximately normally distributed if no in that case again we will be going for non parametric test and if yes in that case we will again ask a question are the variances of populations equal which mean the variances of different samples if they are equal they are similar or maybe they are there are um, they look same in that case we can again go for a yes and parametric test but if there is a variation in the variances which means in certain samples the variance is high and in certain samples the variance is less it means that there are some outliers so in that case the data is not normally distributed which means that we have to go for non parametric test so this is how we can find out determine what kind of test is applicable on our data so now supposingly you have collected primary data and you have various types of questions so from all the questions you will get a metric or a category category and accordingly you have whatever hypothesis you are framing accordingly you have to find out that whether the data is normally distributed whether there are variances in the population uh i mean the variances are equal or not and then you have to find out that if the things are going symmetrical if the variances are same equal in that case you can always go for a parametric test and otherwise we have to go for a non parametric test in addition to scale of measurement we should look at the population distribution so now this is again repeating the same thing that population if it is normally distributed and we have seen the normal distribution now parametrics may be used if it is not normally distributed population or no assumptions can be made about the population distribution in that case non parametric so when the population is not normally distributed and no assumptions are there in that case we have to go for a non parametric test now see the uh, the chart this is a, an upside down tree which is telling the hypothesis test here now there are various type of hypothesis test and we have to learn all so be ready for that parametric test and non parametric test are two broad categories in which our hypothesis test is divided parametric test can be based on one sample or two samples if it is one sample we can go for a t test or z test if there are two uh, two samples again we have to check the samples are independent or paired samples so if they are independent samples we will go for two group t test or z test or if it is paired sample then we will go for paired t test likewise if i am going on the non parametric test side again if it is a one sample or two samples if the value of n is to n is 2 which means sample is uh, one or two so if it is one in under non parametric test sample is one we will go for chi square test kolmogorov smirnov test run test binomial test. likewise if it is two samples we will check independent samples or paired samples under independent samples it is chi square test man witchney test median test kolmogorov simnov test and likewise if it is paired samples it is sign test wilcoxon test mcnamara test and chi square test so students these are the tests that we will be learning in the coming lectures and we will see how these tests are performed to test the hypothesis for a truth or false value whether we have to accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis so we apply these tests on our data and we will see that t test chi square test and uh, z test and there are many tests almost all the tests are important depends on the type of data 
but few tests are very commonly used and we can very easily learn how to check a particular hypothesis whether it is true or not so students this is dr shubhi loving out from youtube keep on checking my lectures for uh, in the form of small clippings or you can shoot bites because now the topic is huge and i cannot put all the content in what single video the reason is that you all have done this in the past and maybe what particular topic is tough look is tough for you you can just cherry pick that video of mine and hear that video thank you